Ground testing of Saturn V instrument units was virtually concluded with successful completion this quarter of testing on the third structural test IU at the Marshall Center. Plans are to use this unit next to validate redesign of the IU's ST-124 inertial platform mount. Work on Saturn V flight IU is continued during the quarter by the contractor, International Business Machines, at its Huntsville, Alabama facility with checkout of the second flight unit completed November 4th. After modification, the unit will be stored until its scheduled shipment to Kennedy Space Center in January. The third flight IU underwent component assembly operations at IBM Huntsville throughout the report period with checkout slated to begin in mid-December. Structural fabrication on the fourth flight IU got underway September 19th. Completion is scheduled in late January. At Marshall's Mississippi Test Facility, activity on the dual position first stage static test stand has begun to change from construction to activation. Major construction of the B2 position is nearing completion and activation is phasing in rapidly in preparation for installation of the all systems ground test stage scheduled for late December. In October, a test fixture called a spider was installed in the stand to verify capability of the four hold down arms. With application of pressure to hydraulic jacks, the spider simulated various types of loads, including full stage thrust, engine gimbling and stage dead weight which will be imparted to the hold down arms and load frame. Also in October, the main derrick was installed atop the stand's center pier. This derrick will be used to install Saturn V first stages in the stand. The derrick was successfully load tested with weights of 400,000 pounds, 50 tons in excess of design requirements. On October 23rd, the all systems ground test stage arrived at MTF from the Marshall Center where it had undergone extensive testing. The stage will be installed in the B2 position of the dual test stand for use in checkout and verification of the stand, technical systems and ground support equipment. At MTF's second stage test stand number two, designated A1, brick and mortar construction is over 90% complete. The flame deflector has been installed and the high pressure industrial water piping has been laid. Steel work on the engine removal and engine access levels is finished. The auxiliary derrick is in operation and work on the main derrick is underway. The second stage vehicle checkout building was accepted for beneficial occupancy September 27th. The second stage now undergoing static testing at MTF will be refurbished in this building prior to shipment to the Kennedy Space Center. Final beneficial occupancy of MTF's component services building is due in mid-December. Technical systems installation is in progress with completion due in early January. In summary, despite delays occasioned this quarter due to the necessity for second stage modifications, September, October and November 1966 marked the accomplishment of major milestones in the Saturn V program with the first static firing of the initial second stage flight stage, partial erection of the first flight vehicle, completion of the facility's checkout vehicle's mission in checkout of Launch Complex 39's Pad A, stacking of the dynamic test vehicle in preparation for the upcoming dynamic test program, and continuing progress in the manufacture and ground testing of subsequent Saturn V flight vehicles.